I was invited to come here uh, two and a half years ago by Sadhu Maharaj. He came once to Sweden and he... I fell in love with him. I fell to his lotus feet and was holding his feet like this after his class. Just sitting there. And at some time he started to speak with me and he gave me one card. His card, you should come to Vrindavan. You should come to Vrindavan. Maybe you also have this experience meeting Sadhu Maharaj and he is telling you, please come to Vrindavan. So why did I come to Vrindavan? Because I was, I was spinning in this, uh, in his uh, association. I was, became mad, mad. You understand this word, mad? Mad. Running around in my town. In, in Sweden like a madman and people thought I was crazy so after some time I realized no no I cannot do like this I have to be I have to behave properly so this madness we should keep in our heart this we should not let it come out And when I came here, he asked me to read this book, Hidden Path of Devotion. This is an introduction to how to become mad. <laughs> <laughs> the first chapter is called How to Enter Raganuga Bhakti. This means how to enter into this madness. And the next chapter illuminating the path of raga, ragatmika bhakti. This means even if you are mad, you have to go, you have to walk on a certain path. You cannot go anywhere. You have to follow a path that is given in Shastra, that is given by your Guru Dev. And next chapter, the five principles of Raganuga bhakti. So this is when you become more serious, then also your intelligence becomes more active. And then you need some guidance in your daily life, how to adjust things, how to understand how you are walking on this path. And this is given in this chapter. And then there is some other things in the end here. One chap chapter four, opulence or sweetness. So for 20 years maybe, I was interested in Krishna's opulence. He's called Bhagavan. It is described, he has six kinds of opulences. He has all power. I have very little power. <laughs> he has all knowledge. Sadhu Maharaj said, I have so much knowledge, but I have so little knowledge compared to Krishna. He has all beauty. I have a little beauty here and there. But what can I offer compared to Krishna in beauty? And he has all renunciation. Even though he has, he has all these things, he is the owner and controller of the whole material creation. He is not attached to this. At any moment, he can give it up. But I am attached to everything. <laughs> I am attached to this recorder. I am attached to 
my clothes, everything. I cannot give it up. And he is he has old fame. Everyone knows about him. Even the atheists. They say we don't believe in God. So he is famous among the atheists also. And what is the last, the sixth uh, opulence? He said he has all strength, all knowledge, all renunciation, uh, all uh, fame, all beauty. And what is the sixth one? Wealth. 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 Yes, he has all wealth. Yes. He is the owner of his own creation. So we have like this body for example. We have Jai Maharaj. Exactly. Sadhu Maharaj asked me to speak something today. So I'm trying to explain <coughs> how I came here to Vrindavan and how I was first, for the first 20 years, interested in Krishna's opulences. But there is also Krishna's sweetness. So this we start to experience when we come in contact with these books. Krishna's sweetness. But the opulences, Krishna's majesty, they are there in the background. It is not the meeting of a boy and girl. It's a meeting of Krishna and Radhika. So in verse 13, O Queen of Vrindavan. So this is the author of this book. He has written this verse and he is addressing Radharani as the Queen of Vrindavan. Vrindavan Eshwari. Vrindavan Eshwari. Meaning she is the goddess or she is the lady of Vrindavan. When Madhupati, who is Madhupati? It is Krishna as a Rasika bee. He is going around everywhere from flower to flower looking for nectar, looking for rasa looking for a relationship with each friend, each associate he has in Vrindavan. When Madhupati holds your most cooling lotus feet, like we see here in this picture, Krishna is holding Radharani's lotus feet. And I think this may be another picture where Krishna has dressed himself as a gopi, as a cover girl. And he's coming to Radharani and begging at her lotus feet. O Queen of Vrindavan, when Madhupati holds your most cooling lotus feet, 
So why why does the author why does uh, the author Shila Prabodananda Saraswati why does he say cooling lotus feet? Why does he say that they are cooling? Why why pointing this out? Because Krishna he is very eager to meet Radharani. <coughs> and this creates some heat. And when he can come in contact with her lotus feet, then he feels how it is cooling to this heat that is created by his eagerness to meet Radharani and to serve Radharani. And these lotus feet are filled with a honey of nectarian love taste. I completed, I read, I read the full verse. O oh, Queen of Vrindavan, when Madhupati holds your most cooling lotus feet that are filled with a honey of nectarian love taste to his heart, he holds the feet to his heart, he extinguishes the terrible fire of his desire. I take shelter of these feet. So there are, there are three persons here. There is Krishna, Madhupati, there is Radharani, Queen of Vrindavan, Vrindavan Eshwari, and there is Sripad. Sripad is the person who wrote this verse, and he is saying to us, I take shelter of these feet. So when Krishna he holds these lotus feet to his heart. Then this fire of his desire to meet Radharani and to serve her, this fire get cooling. So he is not suffering any longer by this fire. It is cool. He experiencing he is experiencing coolness from touching her lotus feet and putting them on his heart. And Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati, he also says that these lotus feet are filled with a honey of nectarian love taste. In Sanskrit we say Amrita, Nectar, and Honey, Makarandam, and Love, Prema. <coughs> and Flavor or Taste, Rasa. <coughs> uh, 
it is difficult for me to understand what Krishna exactly is experiencing when he takes Radharani's honey sweet lotus feet to his heart. He explains that there is a cooling sensation. And this commentary by Shinanata Dabadi is called Sri Radha's Cooling Lotus Feet. Sripad suffers of separation from Swamini and humbly prays, O Swamini, cast your favorable glance on your lovely maidservant. So now it is not only Krishna who is in separation from Radharani but also the third person, Sripa, who has the form of a servant of Radharani, a maid servant of Radharani. He asked the question, Swamini's compassion is unlimited how can she stay at ease while her maidservant suffers so much? So Radharani is also named Karuna Mai. She is full of compassion. Mai, Mai means full. Full. You can say Prema Mai, she is full of love. She's Karuna Mai, she's full of uh, compassion. Karuna means compassion or mercy. So if she is so merciful, how can she see her maidservant uh, su suffering and separation? The answer to this question is one must experience separation in order to increase the happiness of union. So, my advice to you, stay separated. Don't come, <laughs> don't meet, huh? because then you will not enjoy anything. Should we understand it in this way? We should all the time be separated. Some, some people, they say like this, that separation is the highest, only separation. You should only experience separation. But to experience separation, there must first be meeting or a hopeful meeting. When Radharani and Krishna first come in contact with each other here in Vrindavan, they cannot meet because <coughs> It is the culture, cultural restrictions, social restrictions. Now in the in the West, boy and boy and girl they can meet if they if they decide so themselves. Usually it's like that. I don't know how it is in Bulgaria. It is you are, you are from Bulgaria? How it is there? So, 
if you want to meet, but there is separation, then the love increases. The love becomes manifested. But if it's very easy to meet, then it's also easy to forget each other. It shouldn't be that way. I also think so too. It shouldn't be that way. Yes. Which way it should be? If it's love, it's love. If it's, if it's, yeah, if it's pure, real love, well, it should be love. Even uh, more stronger when we are together. Why there should be a separation? Why there should be separation? Yes. And this is the question here that he's asking. If the maid servant of Radharani is suffering of separation, that she cannot serve Radharani. Why, why not Radharani come and take her to her so that she can serve, she can have a loving relationship? This is the question. And you have the same question. You're saying that they should meet, and that should be the perfection. No, no, no. No? I meant a different thing, actually. Um, in the place that we live in Bulgaria, we can uh, we can meet each other easily. And there's no restriction. Maybe in other places in Bulgaria there is a restriction. Uh, we actually started from this point. My, uh, what I meant is that uh, the to be to have a pure, a uh, uh, really strong love, the, it's not necessary to have a separation. Of course, if, if there is a separation, then uh, most of the time we suffer because we need each other. From other point of view, if it's a pure, unconditional love, there should be suffering also. But this is really difficult for us to experience this. That's what I meant. Maybe together or not together is up to the circumstances yes. because here is one circumstances yes. in Europe are different. Yes. If you act like Indian in Europe if you will to exchange uh, you yourself said that uh, I should look normal uh, as you are acting some way and kind of said no I should act properly. Either crazy there is a path to follow. So if we say this is a circumstances, we need or we don't need, uh, the main thing is love. And uh, some are thinking that even they're not together, if we call separation, it's in a way conventional. Uh, actually, they were not separated because always there is a connection between them. And the real connection is not being together. The real connection is the real love. Yeah. Uh, I think she's saying something like this. So, being together or not being together, it's a circumstances. Yes. But the connection, the real connection is mm -hmm. there. So they're actually separated in a conventional way. They're not separated actually. Because These circumstances together. that separate you or bring you together, they act as mm, increasing the love, both. It could be so, yes. yes. It's experience. It's tasting, it's increasing the love, yes. But if you are mad in love, then you don't understand these things, how these things are going on. So then there is need for the third person who can help you who can help the couple to meet in the proper way. In this situation here in Vrindavan, the third person will hide them. That's the first duty, That because this is secret love. So it always, this love must always be kept secret, hidden. So this third person has to lie, make many lies lying to the parents and so on. Mm -hmm. But maybe this now we don't have to adapt one hundred percent with Krishna and the other which is divine love. I think uh, divine love, this very inner feeling, it's hidden always. 
and if we need to hide it, I'm not, um, if I have that, and I'm not going to give you a value, you have no idea how much you have. You don't act like this. This is the hidden thing. Uh, when uh, they are a couple, it's a bit deeper. So yes, it would be good if they feel very strong love, but it could not be the same with the love with Krishna. It's different love. This is fully hidden love. I think this is more symbolizing this divine love than earth couple love. Because they are not earth, they are Krishna and Prabhu. Uh, again? <laughs> From the beginning? Yes. No, no, no. Question answer. Uh, we, we are thinking and discussing it might be a difference between proper behavior in uh, earth couple Mm. Uh, because she started with some discussion, Nina, like uh, Nina and Harry, between Earth couple, <laughs> and uh, we started from there, so it's not clear. And uh, Krishna and Radha behavior, because they're hiding, they're in separation, they need somebody to hide their meeting. I'm saying in uh, now nowadays Western society, they don't need this, uh, this kind of uh, behavior to be together. But uh, yes, the love with Krishna, it is hidden, it cannot be... Why hidden? Because it starts from the soul consciousness. Yes. Yes. So yes. this is soul is hidden to me. Yes. Yes. When the soul is hidden, then uh, I cannot the connect way. with Krishna <laughs> myself. The other way. Yeah. So, so this way, the Krishna is hidden, yes. but yes. love is not hidden. Love is natural to understand everyone. So we take the shelter of the love to understand the soul. If I want to understand myself, the soul, we need the shelter of love. Love brings to the God. You go to the church, you see love to, brings to the God. Love gives you hope, hope give, bring it to the God. What is meaning of hope? Means there is chances. Love has uh, many chances in life to realize the soul because the soul is the way to go to the God. The Krishna can only catch by love not with senses, with the feelings of your spirituality. Because the soul, when we identify our soul, we can be easily understand who is the creator of this soul. But how I can go this? This is a relation, that mentioned relation. And without desire, relation, develop love. If I have no relation, I have no love. I cannot say there is a love. First is a relation. Relation give you feeling and separation also. And how we adapt in a couple this? Yeah. You why to understand very easily when you see in material life also based on relation and feeling and love. So it's normal to everyone to understand this, that relation gives you feeling and feeling gives you love. This feeling is a consciousness. If you have no feeling, you are unconsciousness. So many have no feelings in life because there is no relation. Relation not exists. You cannot relate with someone. There is never feeling less person. What is feeling less means totally material. So now you come that what is the material thing, material relations also exist love. Is a is a you see panchatattva is a Pajatattva, you see that picture. One is Gajadhar. Gajadhar is a Shakti of Radhika, left, right side. This Shakti of Radhika is what? Energy of Radhika is what? 
love. So in whole universe, what is happening, love, is also is the energy of Radhika. Without her energy, nobody can love each other. Fighting is very easy in this material world, but loving to someone is very difficult. And they know naturally in love there is a very much sacrifice to do. You cannot do without sacrifice love. You cannot give the name. You can give different name of that, but love means to sacrifice. Love means to separation. Love means the beauty of meetings. This every living entity knows. This is the nature of the soul to know. So it's very natural to understand Radha and Krishna this way. This is their great mercy that Radha, Radha herself, the goddess of love, is expanding in different form in our living soul to realize these feelings. But one is the thing what we do for myself and one I do for the pleasure of others. When I do pleasure for myself, it's become karma. When I do pleasure for others, it becomes Krishna Prem. Like a, any circumstances give pleasure when you do the service for others. In material life, you day to day you see. <coughs> and when you want to enjoy yourself, is your desire, you fulfill your desire. Is a calm. So it's a very divine, sensitive thing to realize in all activities to the Krishna and Radha's activities. They are divine. They are living every circumstances in our life. So it spiritually become Radha Krishna divine love and materially also we do when in the sacrificing mood, service mood is also they feel pleasure with that. So not only when you will sit and do bhajan or sitting and meditation in yoga time, you meditate at the time of yoga, but you ask to Radhika, she is always meditating to Krishna. This is also yoga. So her love was so intense, she always feel the union with Krishna and sometimes separation with Krishna. This was intense love. That love only we can realize by listening her sweet pastime. <coughs> and we can see, we can make the practical in our day-to-day -day life how to balance this divineness in our every moment of the life. to be conscious. Clear? Yes, clear? Material is to serve to them. Every material thing, you see, go to the altar of Radha Mohan, is all material. It's for silver, wooden, is all material, why? In the service of them. So all material when you serve to the, them is become divine. Even in the, our senses, material senses and body we use for the service of Him, it change in divineness. Why? Because of my soul is also connected and is connected with divine. So it, I forget, that is my only missing point. 
when to only to remember and to be in that consciousness everything change sadhak rupe seva sadhak rupe siddh rupe na chhatrahi means seva you do the service in sadhak roop in physical form is a service everything you can do service mode and when you come in your siddha roopa is all it become divine it all divine siddha roope na that the material thing also become divine consciousness <laughs> your hand become divine your eyes become divine your nose become taking the smell of the flavor of the samnis flavor of the samni flavor of the love listening of the love air is listening for the love divine love one is for my enjoyment and divine is for your enjoyment for your pleasure because we have human body and female body but we are our male body the female body has also male body like the female nature is to enjoy and the male nature to enjoy this is the thing and when we have a nature of enjoyment is a male body so it's very sensitive things <laughs> so why do we need the soul when you come in the soul consciousness then you not need to enjoy you need to enjoy it by enjoy and it's a divine krishna is a divine he tests from different different way enjoyed and enjoyed so our body consciousness make me to enjoy and our soul consciousness ness makes me to enjoy now we have a one new very nice program anuprashan we will do this in the front of radha mohan because now karna mai and karna mohan karna prem is going to eat first grain in his life yeah before he is only taking mother milk today this rice sweet rice will off Already, already offered to Radha Mo. Yes. You give for yes. free, and then we will keep three things in his presence. Hmm. One is the money, one is the Bhagavad Gita, <laughs> and one <laughs> is the <a> Japa. <laughs> Japa. Where he touch, you will see that he will decide what is his taste of life. so we will do this function there in the temple yes you like to join you listen some radha katha <laughs> yes yes if if he touches it what does it mean means see he he will he will he will be very knowledgeable person he will like to read more If he touch money, he will earn good money in his life. <laughs> If he touch touch japa, means he want to give his time for his spiritual development. His decision, you will see today. He will can take this. Yes, Karna Mohan. So you see, you like to see that program. We have a uh, this. <laughs> yes. If he touches the book, it's also meaning spiritual development, isn't it? Yes. Brahman. Yes. Yes. 